nothing. You don't look like nothing. You ain't never gonna be nothing. You're just a big waste of space, you freaking idiot. I don't know why you still here, you dummy. You might as well go ahead and drop out now. You think you better than me? You think you smarter than me? Girl, you got me messed up because you're gonna be just like me. You're gonna be knocked up in high school and you're gonna repeat the same grade. You're just a big waste of space. Girl, Yo! you dumb. You idiot. You ain't gonna be nothing in you life. You're an imbecile. Reassess your life. Moron, you need to assess your life. Drop out, What is your meaning? You know, it's your purpose. Buy us something to do. Clarissa, what's wrong? Look, don't get discouraged now. Graduation's only a year away, and you'll be the first one in your family. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Come on, let's go. I picked myself up and set out to disprove the haters. With some hard work, I made it to graduation. Now, I dictate my future. Welcome back to this special issues program. I'm contributing reporter Christian Weatherspoon. So far, you've heard from some prominent guests that the Stewpot Community Center is in dire need of your financial support. Well, in a recent visit to the center, I spoke with Donna Johnson, who's a shining example of why Stupot's clients are looking for a hand up, not a handout. Being homeless was the last thing Donna Johnson ever expected. It's consequences of choices that I made that left me homeless. But when she had nowhere else to turn, she came to Stupot. I was truly blessed because Stupot has become my family. Donna's taken advantage of the various programs offered by staff at the community center. We have counseling. And now that she's back on her feet, it's her mission to give back to the organization that gave so much to her. My church that I'm a member of volunteers here and helps serve me. I try to come when they're here and help serve. Remember where I was at one time. And her message for those considering contributing to Stupot? If someone had told me a long time ago that one day I would be ho homeless, I would tell them, you're crazy. If you were in that position, would you want someone to help you? Would you want someone to be there? Well, Stupot is that ministry, and they're there. And the more we can do to help that ministry grow, then the more we need to do, because you never know. Reporting for TV23's Issues, I'm Christian. Welcome back. I'm contributing reporter Christian Weatherspoon. This issue special is almost over. But before we go, I have one more story, which after hearing it, you'll be compelled to open your heart and checkbook for Stupot Community Center. It's a typical day at the Stupot Community Center, one filled with feeding the body and the soul. Our effort is to uh, reach the community through the services that we offer in order to get their attention, to tell them our philosophy, which is God is love. This is a philosophy that Mary Blockman knows all too well. Homelessness brought her to Stupot. When I was with my family, they was doing all they could, and it was hard on them, so I had to do something for myself. And so I came to Stupot. Don London is chaplain at Stupot and has seen firsthand the need for donations from those in the Jackson area. The giving is responded to by the satisfaction of knowing that our volunteers have given and um, that they are given to people in need without charge, especially the volunteerism and the donation of monies are, are important. Thanks to this spirit of volunteerism, Blockman has a new lease on life. My self-esteem was gone, but they built it, you know, gave me the strength. With the help of donors, Stupot hopes to continue in its efforts to help Jackson's less fortunate. Reporting for TV23's Issues, I'm Christian Weatherspoon.
God bless you, y'all. Thank y'all so much. Let's hear it one more time, ladies and gentlemen, for Mr. Ruben Stutter. Sit yourself down, girl, and talk to me. Tell me what's on your mind. Don't be telling me that everything's okay, no, cause if it were, you wouldn't be crying. You've been tossing and turning in your sleep lately, sitting around half my own day long. I in the world and you expect me to
Oh, <laughs> 